guys and welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So today's reading is for the zodiac sign of Virgo and Virgo this is your February 2015 general monthly reading. So Virgo for February, this is a this is an interesting reading to me and it, it kind of really tells me some form of the story going on here. I'd love to know who the two characters are at the beginning of the reading, potentially. Whether they're supportive or whether they're adversaries, but I... Okay, I'm just going to get on with the reading and see what you think. If this reading corresponds or resonates with any of you guys, I really would love it if you could just drop me a comment and let me know. Okay? The first two cards we've got are the Queen of Cups and the Magician. The Queen of Cups is a very kind of um, compassionate, really loving woman, you know? She's kind of, you know, she's the counterpart to the King of Cups. The King of Cups has been through a lot, he's been tested a lot emotionally and he's a, at a point where he's really emotionally stable, okay? The Queen of Cups is really someone there who can provide us with um, direction in terms of our emotional life. So she'd be someone like perhaps maybe a counsellor. You know, she'd be, she's what I mean, she'd be the person that you go to for advice, for counsel, for, you know, she's the person can, that can sort of show you how to love again, how to get in contact with your, how to get in touch with your loving side, you know. She's a really sweet lady, really sweet lady, and she's very, um, she's just a really kind woman, she's very, uh, she's just a very loving, emotionally warm human being. She's not like your Queen of Swords or something like that, this is a completely kind of, um, warm character so i think for some of you guys it could be in february that this person is supportive of you okay she could be your mum she could be your sister she could be your friend or if it's a male it has the energies of this person then we have the magician card and the magician card is all about kind of um manifesting our goals so bringing what is non-physical into the physical okay so it's all about using your willpower using your um logic using your strength um using you know taking those things with your ideas and working towards manifesting them bringing them into the material world and this is really about being a miracle worker you know someone who can who is their own miracle worker who can create things into the material world of their own back you know it's all about having that drive and having that kind of knowing that you've got that um energy that vibrational energy that is definitely aligned with the universe in order to manifest your own desires but kind of doing it through your own your own sheer will your own willpower so potentially this person could be supporting you. I, I just get the feeling that if this person is supporting you to do that, then there is an element of doubt going on with you through through February and, and you've got that support to kind of push you along. But I'm going to be coming back to these two cards as we go on through the reading because the, the other cards are really interesting to me. And they do tell me a story right from, I think, the next two cards onwards. For the next two cards, we've got the Nine of Wands... And the two of wands. Now the nine of wands is really kind of um, a twofold, threefold meaning card. Okay, on the one hand, we've got someone here who um, needs to persevere with something. Okay, the nine of wands can really sort of infer feeling kind of tired. You're not quite there at the ten of wands. The ten of wands can be one of those cards where you're. You know, it, it depends which tarot pack you're using. Some tarot packs, the Ten of Wands is on the person's back in the picture. Some, like the Rider weight, the person is pushing forward those ones, okay? But in all, the Ten of Wands is about stress and feeling burdened, overly burdened with something. But the Nine of Wands isn't quite there, but it's simply saying that you are feeling some form of stress with something. You're feeling potentially quite tired around a situation, you know? And you're wondering if you can go on, but the Nine of Wands is saying don't give up. Because you're nearly there, you're nearly, you're nearly where you want to be. You know, don't give up when victory is in sight, you know. Don't kind of put your arms down when you're, you're very nearly over the, over the line, you know. So it could be 
that with the Queen of Cups and the Magician cards, you've got someone there who's pushing you forward, you know, you're tired. You don't know whether you can carry on, you know, in what you're trying to persevere and do. But you've got, either within yourself, that added strength from the Queen of Cups and the Magician that's pushing you along to, through this tiredness, to achieve this goal here. With the Two of Wands, and the Two of Wands is all about taking an idea and planning you know you're going out there and you're exploring and you're working towards this thing that you want to manifest that you want to bring in this plan this goal this this thing that you want to kind of manifest the ace of wands which is obviously before the two of wands is all about the the start of an idea you know the start of something the energy around it the two of wands is about bringing that energy and that idea to fruition you know and building it exploring it planning it researching it looking into it and putting it out there into the material world so it could be as i've said the queen of cups and the magician could simply be a reflection of who you are you're using all of your love and all of your willpower and all of your um all of your strength and all of your kind of you know all of your fortitude to push something along and you even though you're tired doing it you know you're still going for it you're still going for doing this with the two of wands you know you're still going for that plan you're still going for that thing that you want to manifest in your life however the next four cards don't really tally up with that to me they could do if you gave up at the last herb and you decided you know i don't want to do this forget it but i think this is a little bit more deeper i think when i look at the other four cards um virgo it tells me a situation that is ending or has ended so it's something that you guys already know about potentially that is ending or it's already ending and you're going to be walking away from it and you're not going to feel that great when you do in a way so going back to the queen of cups and the magician when i look at the other four cups it could be the other four cards sorry it could be and this is the key card for me because as i said before that the nine of wands is like a twofold threefold card it talks about perseverance and um standing the test of time and really kind of you know having to keep strong and go for something okay even if you're knackered even if you're really tired you know it does talk about being persistent in something and potentially as i've said some of you guys might not be feeling that persistent at the moment and you're needing to kind of push yourself with that but i think that with the other explanation of the Nine of Wands, this is a card about feeling vulnerable and cautious and defensive about something. This guy, when you look at him, he's looking round, you know, he's kind of like, he's like this, you know, he's kind of like looking round like he's waiting for something, like he's kind of like anticipating something, like he's cautious about something. He's thinking about potentially a situation that's happened in the past and he doesn't want to be going back there so it's made him feel kind of on the defensive about stuff and because the nine of wands was directly kind of next to the magician and the cups and the nine of the queen of cups i don't know whether this is someone that you guys are feeling potentially a bit weird around you know a bit weird around someone a bit like you don't trust something or you don't trust the situation now if that magician card had been reversed like that i'd have said it would have been potentially someone who's conning you someone who is not being honest with you because the magician card in reverse does mean in its traditional meaning a con man a fraudster a con artist but it's in the upright position so it doesn't really essentially mean that but I'm wondering if this is some sort of situation that's happened for some of you Virgo guys, whereby maybe there's one person or a couple of people who you don't trust, who you're cautious around, who you're a little bit like, hmm, I'm not sure about that person or I'm not sure about them. I'm not sure about my partner. I'm not sure about his friend, you know. I'm wondering if it's potentially someone or a couple of people who you've built some trust with. And if the magician, if this was someone, I mean, usually the, the major arcana cards don't really represent some a person. They usually represent an energy. It's the, it's the court cards, like the Queen of Cups, that would represent your person, you know. But this person's meant to be quite compassionate. You know, they're a water. They're a water sign. They're a Cancer or a Pisces or a Scorpion person, potentially. 
So I'm just wondering if potentially for some of you guys, it could be that there's a situation for some of you guys, potentially in February or going on from now, where there's one or two people that you don't trust. They have all the appearance of being nice, but you've got your drawbacks about it. And with the two of wands, as I've said, it's taking something, an idea, and it's kind of exploring it. So are you exploring something, you know? Is there something that you're exploring? Is there something you're trying to find out? Is there something that you're researching? You know? And what is more interesting about this reading, guys, is that for some of you guys, potentially in February, if this is a situation where you're not trusting something, where there is some form of defensiveness going on with some of you guys, where there's some form of caution going on, it's really making you feel kind of not very good about it because we've got the Five of Pentacles, and this shows someone who's out in the cold, who feels kind of like on the outskirts of something, who feels that they're not quite involved in something. So it could be a situation whereby you're not feeling a part of a group. You're feeling kind of out in the cold and that's making you feel defensive, you know. It's making you feel not very kind of wanted, not very included in something. And I think that for some of you guys, because we do have a card that's in here, that two cards that signify the ending of a situation, and that also show you walking away from something, and both cards are kind of the same meaning. So the situation isn't sort of flighty, you know? This is a situation that potentially means a lot to some of you guys, you know? So on the one hand, it could be where there is a situation going on with maybe one person, maybe a couple of pairs of people, maybe the Queen of Cups is your girlfriend and the Magician is your mate. Or the magician is your husband and the queen of because the magician is very much a male energy so the magician could be the man that you trust the man that's potentially done a lot for you but you've got a mate there you know and you're kind of thinking and she's got all of the appearance of being really really nice but potentially she's not so nice because something's going on between her and the magician who knows i don't know i mean i'm just it's a general reading so i'm just kind of musing here you know i'm just kind of looking over it and saying what could this potentially be but it is a situation that is making you feel potentially for some of you guys guarded and making you feel cautious and making you kind of feel on the back foot about it and you're going to be exploring it researching it you know there's an exploration going on here with this situation and potentially you could be looking into other things and saying, you know what, I don't want to stick around with this, you know, so I'm going to start exploring other things, you know, I'm just going to walk away. I'm just going to go on my own little travels and I'm just going to get the hell out of here, you know. Because we do have, as the next two cards, the death card, sorry, the next card, sorry, along with the five of pentacles, I do apologise, is the death card. Transformation, change, endings, okay, that's what this card means. Moving from one set of uh, life to another, to a, one set of um, ideals to another, you know, changing your life, changing the way that you've lived before into something new, new beginnings. So I certainly think with these two cards, potentially for some of you guys, it's a situation that's making you feel out in the cold. You know, you're feeling uncomfortable around and you're feeling like you've lost something, that you've, you know, that you're lost something or you're losing something. It's making you feel a bit fearful, but there's still hope there. Because as I say, I always say with this guy here, behind the woman who's looking down, she's really feeling that she's lost completely. But he's looking up to heaven, he's asking for help. So maybe some of you guys are asking for help, you know. You're praying and asking, which way should I go? But if you're praying about it or asking about it, then your answer is with the death card. Because the death card is saying, you're walking away from it. Something's ending, something's coming to an end for you guys in February. Or even now, potentially, this is going on from... And this was further backed up to me by the Eight of Cups. Very strong reading, Virgo. Really strong. I would be surprised. Whenever I get strong readings like this, I'm surprised if nobody resonates with it, you know? Because it is really, really strong. You're walking away from something, okay? It ties in with the Death card. Both cards mean the ending of something. The finale, the finish of something, yeah? You've made the decision. Usually, a lot of the time, I find with the death card, it's a, it's a decision that you've made for yourself. It's not like with the tower card, where it's something that was out of your control. I find with the death card, a lot of the time, it's something that's in your control. So I think that with the death card and the eight of cups, you've decided to walk away from something, Virgo. It's not serving you. It's no good for you. You're uncomfortable with it. It's put you on the back foot. It's made you feel defensive. 
it could potentially be with these two people or maybe one person who you've trusted who you've put your trust in but they're you know they've not all they've not been all that they've seemed potentially or these two people could be an amalgamation of one person who's supporting you could be either way but you've walked away from something potentially virgo because you've got these two very strong here, cards here that do talk about walking away changes transformations could be that at first you're feeling cold, out, in, out in the cold and very vulnerable about something you know both these cards in a way talk about vulnerability the nine of wands and the eight of pentacles sorry the five of pentacles but i also think that the death card card talks about strength and maybe the transformation has come when you decide to walk away there's a change in you and you make that decision to walk away from something the final card i'd like to show you guys is the five of cups this reading in a way i guess it kind of seems like what the hell <laughs> do you know what i mean it kind of seems like what is this because you know it's so bloody strong i can't you know i can't really uh, stress how strong this is it's telling me a story especially with the last few cards you know the ending of something walking away from it it's going to make you feel a bit sad you know it's going to make you feel a little bit sad it's going to make you feel a little bit upset about the walking away from something but there are two cups up standing there at the back so you have something left over from that okay there is hope still there your hope is here with these two cups and it's also here with the geezer looking up to heaven in the five of pentacles and it's also there with the death card because there's a new beginning for you so if any this reading guys resonates with any of you at all just know that there is hope still there okay all is not lost at all there is an ending for something within the cards within february guys it could be anything it could be i mean i don't necessarily get um it could be the work situation i think that came up in your general reading you were starting on a new path your general reading for for the year 2015 you would a lot of you guys it seemed within that reading it was saying that you'd be starting on a new path with something so potentially it's that but I get the feeling around this card, it's, it's, I'm not sure because we do have two cup cards that are very, um, that, that talk about loss and talk about walking away from something, getting rid of something that's old, that's no longer serving you, getting rid of something that potentially gave you some imbalance, you know, made you feel slightly kind of like on edge, chaotic, you know, unbalanced. But then we do have the two of wands. You're either exploring whatever the situation is that's making you feel vulnerable or you're exploring some new territory there, you know. You're exploring some new territory. And you've got the death card there, the ending to something, you know. These are very, very strong cards. So I certainly think that potentially, potentially for some of you guys in February or even going on from now, there's a situation that's come up. Now, it's either that you're receiving support through that situation via someone who is potentially the Queen of Cups. It could be your mum, it could be your sister. It could just be a friend, I suppose. Someone potentially who's a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. doesn't have to be, though. I don't really fall too much for that because it could be anyone. They could comprise the energies of the Magician as well as the Queen of Cups. Or they could, you know, it could, these energies could be within you the queen of cups and the magician where you you know you've got that kind of will and that kind of presence of mind to drive for yourself forward through a situation that's made you feel a little bit unhinged a little bit kind of like on the defensive a little bit vulnerable but you're going to be exploring potentially new territory you know, maybe it's a situation that's released you from something that was just wasn't working for you and now you feel that you've got the world in your hands and you can go anywhere and do anything. But this new beginning, this ending to something just allows you to walk away. There will be potentially a little bit of sadness around it, but there is hope in the background, okay? You are looking potentially at what has ended, what has gone, but there is hope for you because we have that with the two of wands there and we've also got it with the two cups that are standing behind this guy. 
So if it's not you guys exploring something with the Two of Wands in pertaining to a situation that you don't trust or you're vulnerable around, then simply it's going to be you guys exploring new territory. And I think it's going to be you guys exploring new territory. You're exploring new territory in your Two of Wands and also you eight of, your Eight of Cups. But always remember that endings always bring us on to new beginnings, whatever those endings are. No matter how big or how small, they always allow for a new door, a window to open. When God closes a door, he opens a window, you know. There's always a new opening for you whenever something ends, so I think it's a very positive reading. Interesting reading, guys. And not at all bad. I mean, just let me know, guys, in the comments below, yeah? If this resonates with you in any way, let me know because it's so strong. When I get strong readings like this, there's something that resonates with someone because it is a really strong reading and very interesting. Guys, that's your reading for February 2015. I'd like to say thank you very, very much for joining me. Now, guys, I want you to let me know what type of readings, you, what other readings you'd like me to do, okay, besides the sort of monthly general ones because I am looking to do potentially an astrological card reading. Um, and also potentially a law of attraction reading so let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a law of attraction reading for you for February or you'd like me to do an astrological uh, general card reading for the month of February and I'll put those up after I've done all of these ones so I'd like to say guys thank you so much for joining me and I will see you on your